Ukraine's interior minister has said around 20 terrorists, in his words, and one policeman were killed as armed pro-Russian separatists tried to seize the police headquarters in the eastern port of Mariupol. The version of events is disputed. What's certain is that the building was the centre of a pitched battle. Bodies lay in the streets for several hours afterwards. But some local people have given a conflicting account, saying the army attacked the police for refusing to disperse activists. This man says there was shooting and then an armoured vehicle came. They started shooting with heavy calibre weapons, heavy automatic machines. You can see the cartridges here. The authorities sent reinforcements. Some pro-Russian residents tried to stop them. They also blamed the Ukrainian military and right-wing extremists for the violence. Euronews correspondent in Mariupol says the antagonism in southeastern Ukraine is almost turning into civil war. It's an intense struggle that will heavily influence the elections, not only this Sunday's self-proclaimed referendum on independence for the Donetsk region. Sergio Cantone, Euronews, Mariupol.